Support Wrestle Talk. Give us a subscribe. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis and I'll be replying to comments for the first 15 minutes after this video goes live. If you told me just a few years ago that the guy from The Apprentice with questionable hair would be the President of the United States, I would reply, I'm fine, thank you. I don't want all the drugs in the world that you've just taken. So it's probably wise to not count out Rock the Dwayne Johnson becoming the new president in 2020. BetOnline.org have slashed the Dwayne's head of state odds to a very tasty 80 to 1, prompting both the Washington Post to write an article on his potential bid and Oscar-winning documentary maker Michael Moore to glowingly endorse the people's champion. Run the rock! Run the rock! Who do you want for commander-in-chief? I want the f***ing rock! It would scare anybody that would hurt us. Think about how safe we would be if the Rock was president. Nobody would f*** with him. Given that John Cena has been following the Dwayne's career path for the past decade, expect him to run for office in 2028. But before kicking out at two on election night, Cena is seemingly kicking out at two on his most recent WWE hiatus. Raw and SmackDown ratings have seen a sharp decline since WrestleMania season, with both shows setting their lowest viewership figures for 2017 so far. Interest in WWE will always be highest around its biggest show of the year, but with the most prominently featured major stars on that show, The Undertaker, Triple H, Goldberg, John Cena, and even Universal Champion Brock Lesnar not appearing since Mania, WWE television has found itself significantly lacking in star power. Seemingly in response to this, Facebook page The Spotlight reported on Tuesday that WWE officials had asked John Cena to return from his current filmmaking projects because of the ratings drop. They say the segments wouldn't be used for anything big, but it would hopefully give SmackDown a viewership bump and lay the foundations for his next WWE feud when he does return full time. So a Facebook page said John Cena's going to return. That doesn't sound very reliable. Well, just several days later, Cena is now being advertised for the 4th of July Smackdown Live, a holiday episode that typically draws the lowest ratings of the year. This could be WWE's plan for damage limitation. The night before that 4th of July episode, though, is Raw's go-home show for Great Balls of Fire, which is also bringing out the big guns, advertising Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman ahead of the Beast Incarnate's first Universal title defense. But with his planned opponent for the show, Braun Strowman now out with injury, who will he face? The latest Wrestling Observer newsletter has revealed WWE only became aware of Strowman's elbow injury shortly before this week's episode of Raw, which is why Monday night's episode felt so directionless, being based around the lame narrative thread of Dean Ambrose and The Miz being made co-general managers. Major plans for the show were put on hold so they could be properly decided in time for next week's episode. The newsletter points out that Braun has been pulled off all WWE shows going forward, even past the 9th of July Great Balls of Fire date, and Bray Wyatt has been put in his place going up against Roman Reigns. He was previously scheduled to work with Finn Balor, potentially leaving the first ever Universal Champion free for Lesnar. The rest of the European tour has been headlined with Reigns and Seth Rollins versus Wyatt and Samoa Joe. Is Finn Balor the right choice for Brock Lesnar a great balls of fire? Luke Owen and I tried to figure out just that in the brand new episode of Wrestle Ramble. And WWE are interested in a number of former TNA stars. Click the videos to the left to find out who and press subscribe. And also check out our Patreon page to support Wrestle Talk and watch this weekend's Wrestle Ramble episode a day early. I've been Ollie Davis and that was wrestling.